Happy to have Jeff. Jeff is a, a big supporter of the 10 by 3 uh, ever since he found us here at Brothers. He has been here, uh, you know, documenting and uh, performing and, and, and just uh, doing, you know. A lot of people talk about doing things and then they don't follow through. Jeff's one of those guys who follows through on all these things. So very happy to have him here. Put your hands together, buddy, for Jeff Reddy. Thank you. Yeah, this is my fourth time playing this uh, marvelous event. I want to thank Brent especially for even conceiving of it because, you know, it's like where else can you get an opportunity to see such a wide array of really great musical performances and things? And um, allowing me to star in just a tiny corner of a real stellar universe of great musicians around here. Brian's not here tonight, the guy that runs the club, but hopefully he's watching. I want to thank him for bringing the 10 by 3 here. I can't think of a better place to have it. This is not a great club, right? <laughs> and I don't think that can be said enough. So, anyway. Um, the first one... Normally what I do is I basically take a framework of chords and then I improvise around them. So this is something that I had conceptualized for an album that was going to simply be called Yes. And it was going to be featuring pieces called Yes in a bunch of different languages. And I wanted to put some traditional backing music to it and everything. Well, that all fell through. So, this is one of the ones that I was going to do. And um, normally I do play these on the keyboard, not on the cue chord, which I would be happy to try and explain at some other point. <laughs> because uh, everybody is always intrigued by this wonderful instrument. And um, so, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this first one.
German waltz was called Yau to Yau So anyway, a um, long time ago, I wrote a poem. And my mom has been trying to get me to put it to music for a while. And she's here tonight, right there. This is uh, the first time that she's seen me play live. And uh, so this one's for you. Faster, no longer. 
because some of the songs were sung by John, and some of them were sung by Paul, and I think there was one sung by Ringo, I couldn't get the vocal parts together, even though I was able to get the musical parts together. So I had to give up on that idea. So then I went to plan B, then plan C, then plan D. And then I was listening to David Bowie um, doing a show live from the Kit Kat Club from 1999. And um, he did a version of this song that uh, goes something like this. Now, he had a piano accompaniment, and I don't, so you have to kind of imagine in your mind's ear that it's Mike Garson actually playing this.
Everybody. Uh, uh.